Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna try to keep today's video short and sweet, um, straight to the point. So uh, we just upgraded from Spectrum to Verizon, and I say upgrade because it's fiber, it's supposed to be faster. Um, but the question that I had myself was, do I need to use Verizon's router or can I get my own router? So there is a lot of reviews online of the top 10 routers that can be used with Verizon and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I said to myself, what I'm going to do is once I get the service, I won't disconnect Spectrum and I'll uh, play around with the setup. As you can see, they're, they're, they're still like... Um, uh, dust in the floor from them drilling in so right now this is um, coming from the outside and this is the modem they have a different name for it and as you can see I have the Verizon router so real quick I don't want to show you the uh, back because the MAC address and the password is there just in case but see this is it right here and um, I have it connected actually I have it disconnected so what I did was I ran a cable from here to uh, my physical firewall, which is a Palo Alto 220. I'm going to show you that real quick. Let's go. I have a setup back here. See, this is the cable. It runs through here. You have another, another Cat6 cable. You have a white one and a blue one. The blue one goes back to the router, to the modem. The white one comes from the router, and then they go into this is the Palo Alto right here and as you can see here's the white wire which is the uh, interface 1 1 and then interface 1 2 which is the one going back to the router that is not a Verizon router I'll show you real quick excuse the mess here it is right here so this is the router right here and this one is a next dusty and it's missing an antenna because my toddler actually broke the antenna but this is a let's see if you can see that when you get the light it's a night, Nighthawk R7000 AC 1900 and it is working right now with Verizon files um I'm probably gonna switch it to one of the recommend. This is actually one of the recommended ones and it works great. So it is one of the routers that is on the internet listed as one of the top 10 for Fios. I'm actually going to upgrade this um, to one of the later, I think it's the AX6, something like that. Um, definitely. Um, this one has a broken antenna, so I can change it on the warranty. It's supposed to have three antennas. Um, sorry for the dust. But um, if we go here on the app itself, you'll notice that it says Verizon. And then if we do a speed test, even with the Palo Alto firewall, let's see if we can get that on. As you can see, Sometimes it fluctuates, it'll go, right now I have the 300 megabits uploads and downloads, but there you go, 300 with the follow, with, with the Palo Alto firewall and with the Netgear R7000. And upload speeds, there you go, even more, 340, 342. So to answer a lot of the questions that people have out there, because there's no one, I haven't found a video yet, and this is the first one where someone actually shows you Verizon service and it's hooked up to a third party router. Um, and I decided to, to do this video. Right now, I just have the internet service. I don't have anything else. I don't need uh, any TV. Uh, I do the streaming or I watch over the air. But like I said, here is the router itself. And one of the things that I like about this router is that it does have three different networks. It has one for uh, IoT devices and it has a 2.5 gigahertz uh, 5G um, connection and I think it also supports there's a new uh, band uh, I think six but anyway I'll probably put it down here in the description some, some somewhere but there you go so if you're on the fence about upgrading to Verizon and and the thing they recently changed it where 
a lot of people were ditching the router and using their own. Some people were afraid of making the change because they weren't they weren't sure. Um, my setup, like I said, is set up with a, a, a firewall, but you can plug this directly to the router and it'll work just fine. Um, I just, you know, uh, I have a physical firewall and, you know, uh, I, peace of mind with everything that's going on in the world right now. And even with the firewall, I think the firewall speeds, um, it, it does support, I think, 500 uh, megabits. So it's fine for now. I guess if I upgrade to one gigabit, I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do. But it works. So like I said, you can just plug this directly to your router, any of the supported routers for that matter. I didn't have to reconfigure the router itself. All I had to do was reboot the uh, firewall, if you have a firewall, and then reboot it so it can get a new IP address from the firewall for, for my network. Otherwise, I would say is reboot your router the way it is if you switch from Optimum or Spectrum or whatever it is, Comcast, and then what all you have to do once they set everything up, you just take your router and you turn it off, you plug it in, you plug it in, you plug it into your, um, where the blue one is, if you don't have a firewall, remember this is coming from the firewall, and then power it on and you should be set to go. Um, it'll, it'll. What, what's going to happen is your network will stay working the same, but now you'll have higher speeds uh, depending on what plan you get. But anyway, um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. But this is to answer the main question that everyone has. Um, if I go uh, on Amazon or Best Buy, uh, by the way, this video is not sponsored in any way by anyone. Um, if I go to Amazon or Best Buy or Micro Center or whatever and I buy a router, is it gonna work? The chances are, if it has an RJ45 connection, you have an Ethernet connection, uh, Cat6, Cat6A cable to your router, it's going to work. And Verizon will not tell you that. Now, what they, what I was saying before was I got sidetracked. It. What they're doing now is they won't charge you for the mode for for their router. Um, they say it's included in the price. However, you know, I asked the question: What if I return it? Do I get a credit? And they said no. So if you have a fifty nine ninety nine plan, it's going to be fifty nine ninety nine no matter what. If you keep their modem or if you keep their router, I'm sorry, or you get your own, it's the same price. So they figure out a way how to, you know, like um, nickel and dime you even if you return their uh, equipment. But anyway, again, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And yes, you can use a third party uh, router with Verizon. Okay? All right, guys. Like and subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching.